How's it going, guys? Lucian Sword here, and we're going to be starting a new series of a new game that actually I got for free when I bought my computer parts, and uh, I don't remember which part. I Probably the, the Ryzen processor. Uh, I got this game for free. It's The Outer Worlds. Now, some of you might know about this game, some of you might not, so I'll tell you what I do know. It's uh, made by people that also made Fallout games. So like Fallout 3, Fallout 4, games like that. So it's like an open world RPG, but with, uh, you know, guns and technology, kind of. This game takes place somewhere in outer space. I don't really know where. Some planet, not Earth, uh, obviously. So that's about all I know, though. I haven't really seen much else on it. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be making this a, a long playthrough or not, like if I'm going to uh, keep uploading this on YouTube or not, is really up to you guys and how much support this video gets. And, um, you know, I might do a few videos, but if nobody watches these, then I'm, I'm probably not going to spend too much time making them. But if you guys enjoy this game, let me know and uh, show me the love by giving me some likes and comments and uh, I'll just keep doing it if we get enough support. Without any further ado, I present to you The Outer Worlds. Let's make a new character. Uh, I'll just do normal difficulty for now, and um, you know, probably be fine doing that. I'll leave all the subtitles on so you guys can read them, just in case the uh, audio is too low. During cutscenes, I'm not gonna talk though, so Why I'm gonna be quiet. When prosperity awaits you in the stars, come to Halcyon. The only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Wow. All right. All right, so this is where looks like we get to create our character. Ah, oh, yeah, I like these games that let you uh, pick stats and different things. So let's see, we got strength, dexterity, intelligence, Perception, charm, and temperament. Well, hmm. I think I'm gonna put some points into charm. Oh wow, that 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 really boosts. This one had a uh, what are those called again? Social life. <laughs> I'm gonna put three points into charm because I like the uh, companion ability refresh. I don't know what companions you get, whether it's like dogs or pets or robots or people. I have no idea, but uh, I like these uh, skills that you get there. Health regen, I'm not too worried about that. Perception, eh, maybe. I only have three more points. Intelligence, critical damage. It's only good if you have a high critical damage, like, chance, percentage, so I'm not sure about that. Dexterity, reload speed and attack speed, meh. Strength, yes. 100 kg carry capacity, that's important. Another point only does 20 more kg, so we definitely have one point in there for sure. And then I have two more points. I think I'll do... Mm. It, that only goes up by 1.5 health 
per second, which is not a lot. Uh, so I think I'll go to bonus to extra headshot weak shot damage. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like going for headshots. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go strength, perception, and three in charm. Alright, so I get to pick skills. Let's see. I like to do ranged. A gunslinger. Gunslinger. Oh, we're going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. And I like to do stealth. I like Subtle doing sneak, sneak attacks. Exactly what I Lock need. picking, hacking. I love that kind of stuff. Alright. Aptitude. Mm, I'm not going to read all these, but I'm just looking at the bonus that you get. Looks like most of them are really small bonuses. Mmm... I guess I'll do I'll do persuade plus one. I know At in games like this, the value of money. they give you lots of uh, like dialogue options, and if your persuade skill is high enough, you can you can just have better choices. So I'm gonna do the persuade plus one, cashier, subgrade, non supervisory, and yeah, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a male character and uh, face. Uh, let's just do... I'm not going to spend too long picking this kind of stuff. That one looks good. I'm not going to change anything else on the face. Hair. Alright, let's see. I think I'll do... Just could could go... Could just go bald. Mm. I have been sleeping for a long time, so maybe I do have somewhat long hair. <laughs> right. Uh, let's give him... I like light-colored hair, like that, alright. And then, uh, facial hair. Actually, I want to change my face again. Hold on. Yeah, I like, I like that one a little bit better. Hair. Facial hair. <laughs> oh, man. I don't, I don't think the facial hair suits him. Features. All right. Oh wow. <laughs> Makeup. It looks so fun. Oh my god. You can make him look like a zombie. Bloody nose. War paint. Nah. I'm not doing any of that. Scars. Yes. Let's give him some scars. Yeah. That, that looks pretty good. Age. Oh wow. We're gonna say he's about middle aged. All right. That looks good to me. Name. He will be named Lucian. And I think we're done. We're good. There's our final character, Lucian. We're gonna jump into the game now. Let's do it. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Oh, he's only saving me. Nobody else. Definitely is my lucky day. Not likely, bootlickers. <sighs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more... Explosive of cell death! Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yeah? 
Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Wait, what? <laughs> what? Can I look? I can't look around yet. Alrighty, and our journey begins. I really don't like tutorials in games, so Is hopefully it doesn't last working? too long. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. Gotcha. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Ooh. Not to worry, I'm told he's a special dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Wait, where am I landing? Some random planet? What am I I'm supposed to look for supplies, okay. Got you. You saved my life, it's the least I can do. And I know how to operate this, apparently. Alright boys, here we go! Oh. Ah, you've landed good! Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? <laughs> Is that him? Oh, that uh, idiot. I told him to plant the beacon. I landed on Hawthorne. Not stand there holding Bro. It. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Sorry about that, man. It was, uh, won't mind you taking accidental. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Wow. I've gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. This place is beautiful. Look at the little cotton candy plants. Wow. All right, so I guess let's just follow the waypoints, learn our controls, figure out how to play this game. Space bars to jump. Okay, got you. Oh, look at the cute little lizard. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Some pretty interesting structures here that don't look quite natural, but left control. Got you. I already figured out sprint. Definitely, uh, people already live on this planet, so. Here's another dead person Marauder Thug. He's cooking. What killed him? And ate his legs off. I feel like I should take the backpack, considering I have nothing. Alright, I'll sneak in the grass. Alright, fine. Alright, those things want to kill me, so... Yeah, I guess those things ate the marauder's legs. Got you. Happening. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Going down. Ah. Ow. F to heal. Okay. Gotcha. Hey, it's a person. Hey, you. Come here. What's up? You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Oh, I got choices. Should I heal him? Nah, I gotta I gotta find out whether he's a good guy or not. What happened to we you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? You shot yourself. Just barely scraped by with my life. Wow. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. 
Uh, what were you doing here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that About is. About that ship. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. <laughs> See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Yeah, what if they Not come in hunt. through the, the, the hole in the cave that I just came in through, man? Uh, let's see. Per oh, see? Persuade. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go help. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I you told you like guys, persuasion is awesome. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullets. He gave me his gun there. and his ammo. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes. Have I tried the best, though? Uh, can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Ooh. Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Got it. All right. Um, do you know anything about Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? <laughs> Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? What? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Wow, you're a company guy. Got you. All right, I'm off. Oh yeah, boy. Got the pistol. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that, sir. I'm gonna have to take, take your supplies. You don't look like you're gonna survive much longer. Thank you for your weapon here, sir. Oh yeah, let's take the mag pack, tartar sauce, sliced bread. Man, you got junk laying all over here, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Hope the guy, hope the game looks pretty smooth for you guys. I'm, I'm playing this on my new computer. Damage my ears. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Run, boy. Whoa. Tactical time delay shit. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your meter slowly. Moving drains it faster. Cool. So I can slow down time. All right. Some objects explode when hit. Oh, you mean like these? <laughs> oh, here comes a dude. Oh, boom. 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 You dead. Anyone else? Anyone else? Guess not. Sorry about the barrels, dude. Never stand next to explosive barrels. Let me pick up all this stuff. I don't know what it is, but we might use it later. Yes. Apple. Bananas. Wow, those are weird looking. Mag picks. Hacking and picking locks. Alright. Ah, I see. So I need, like, level 5 skill or something, and I need two of these lock pick things. Looks like I have plenty, so let's open it. Ooh, a staff? A melee weapon, two-handed. Got you. Alright, let's 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 open. Take care of your weapons, they'll take care of your enemies. Alright, got you. Oh man, I got a sword! 73 DPS? And it's a one-handed? Oh yeah, let's put that there. I guess we'll put that for there. Man, my guy actually looks pretty old. Pretty Wow, I got like tubes hanging out. <laughs> what are these tubes all over me, man? I need some better armor. Armor, yeah, do I have anything? Mining gear? Oh yeah, has more armor as well, so that's good. Consumables, yes. Ah, oh, I need more slots. All right. Modifications, wow, there's a lot of slots there. General, those are my lock picks. Quest, junk, got you. Journal, all right. Map, fair enough. All right, can I open this locker? No. I'll take the fish sticks, though. All right, let's go to the ship. Got a little ways further to go. I see another guy right there. Should I headshot him? Let me, let me sneak up. Slice in here. Use these controls to attack and block. All right, got you. Three swing combos. Can I do, like, a stealth attack if I get close enough? Let me see if I can get up behind this guy and stealth attack him. 
Oh, hi. Oh, wow, this does a lot of damage. Hold on, boy. <laughs> wow, I feel overpowered. Maybe normal difficulty was, was not good enough. Oh, I'm being shot. Death from above! Alright, that worked well. I have a lot of ammo, actually. I don't even need to, like, conserve ammo, it looks like. My, uh, quick time ability seems to refresh pretty quickly as well. Alright, you can't climb very easily. Hey, there's the ship, and what a ship it is. Holy cow, that is big. Alright, these guys look friendly. I wish I had some grenades. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. What? I just took out, like, eight guys by myself. Thank you very much. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. <gasps> Gull on that run. Ah. Landing in a veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Ah, it's just a landing violation. So I heard, found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Uh, unfortunately, he died. Still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. Wow. I'll just say, uh, bleeding and delirious, but still kicking. Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Wow. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Wait, what? Persuade five. I don't know if I have that much persuasion. Dang. Um. Yeah. All right. Guess I'll do it myself. And you, sir? Talk to the lieutenant. She's certified in customer service. Are you a robot? Oh, that is cool looking. All right. Let's go uh, check out these marauders. I, I guess. All right. Hey, hey, boy. Watch this. Pop. 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 Make you pay. Here they come. Holy cow, how are you not dead? I love games that let you slow down time. That is so nice. Where'd your body go? Already loot him. I thought I killed another. Oh, yeah, down here. Somewhere. There he is. I have so much ammunition. Alright, this ship now belongs to me. I shall name it the SS Sword Cord. Open up. Oh, fast loading. You can fast travel to locations you've unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Sure. The unreliable. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Whatever. This is my Unauthorized ship. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada. Ada. We found Ada, guys. Of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted citizens. Oh, solicitors. please. I'm gonna please hack her. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Wow. I don't think so. What are you gonna do, self-destruct? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Oh, come on, Ada. Jetson procedures initiated. Why you look so angry? I can't move. One. You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Oh man, your programmer has a sense of humor, then. This vessel is the registered property of 
Captain Alex Hoffman. Yeah, I accidentally landed on him. Sorry about that. From anyone other than Captain Alex okay, Hawthorne. he's dead. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your what? orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you uh, understand? Yeah, I'm Captain Hawthorne. You got it. I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well it. done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Of course. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make... So I'm going to have to go manual. fix your engine now. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. Why do I need his ship again? I don't even remember. New captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain okay. of the Unreliable. Okay, I got you. Do you understand? I got it. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Thank try you. Try to stay alive Ada. this time. Hey, level two. Skill improvements. All right. Level up. Yes. All right. I'm going to keep leveling up my uh, ranged. Let's do it. Oh, I got nine points. Oh, wow. Let's put a few into that. Let's do uh, dialogue, stealth. Uh, let's do another in melee there. And why not one in defense? All right. Let's go. Companion abilities. Time dil dilation location hits. Hitting my new location cripples those body parts. Hit the chest, produce different effects. All right, sweet. Combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked di com dialogue combat skill. When attacking correct type target, they are automatically de debilitated. All right. Perks. Uh, let's see. 50 base health, tactical time, damage when alone in the party, walk speed. Oh, yeah, I like, I like that. Weapon armor durability lost, pin and crit, five base armor, additional ammo stock and vendors, carrying capacity, recharge rate, uh, unlockability, fast travel when encumbered, vendor prices. I think I want the uh, tactical time recharge rate. That seems pretty great. Do I have, can I do like more than one perk now? All right. Yep, let's apply that. All right. And, alright guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. We're already at about 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to be shooting for 30 minute videos um, on this series. So, if you, like I said, if you guys enjoy the series so Say, far, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Drop a like. Because you sure walked in it like it was Let your me know. Ship. It is my and ship. this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we got to dock your pay. What? Should I just kill her? I'm gonna try to lie. Oh, by the law. I'm so it sorry. It worked! I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's it not worked. too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Go for it, lady. Yeah, this game looks beautiful. It's definitely Fallout uh, vibes, but like in outer space, like more interesting in a way. Um, I'm excited to keep going. I mean, this is basically just the tutorial we got through, so I imagine the next uh, part that we do is going to be a little more fun. But it's one of those games that has fast parts and slow parts, lots of talking, but also lots of combat and whatnot. Kind of reminds me of Mass Effect in a way. I don't think I can go into third person, or at least I haven't figured out a way how. So, I haven't looked at my baton. Oh, that was sick. Did you see it extend when I pulled it out? Watch this. Shoot. There's Mount Doom over there. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, first episode of Outer Worlds. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy, guys. This is Lucian Sword.